In this video, we are going over the committing changes to the network topic in the InfoWorks ICM basic tutorial. Uh, we're also going to be looking at the commit history and how you can use that in ICM. Uh, so we're going to start by right clicking on Langley for subcatchments network and selecting show commit history. And so you should now see the commit history dialog um, for the Langley for subcatchments network. And so what you're seeing here is uh, the version history of this network. You can see uh, which versions of the network um, or how many versions there are as well as the dates in which they were committed and then the user that committed them and the number of changes that occurred at that commit as well as any um, uh, comments that were submitted by the user who was committing the changes. Um, now you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference uh, between what you see in the tutorial and then what you see in um, uh, your uh, tutorial data. Um, what's happened here is as we um, as we have made uh, changes and improvements to the tutorial, um, this is probably one uh, screenshot we should probably update here in the tutorial, but um, when you see an inconsistent version number, this is fine. So you see we're going from one to three to five to seven um, instead of one, two, three, you know, cons consistent versions. Um, when this occurs, this just means that um, this network was branched um, a couple of times and it was probably done to sort of reorganize um, uh, the the networks here to make them kind of easier to find and just kind of put them um, in new locations to uh, um, just make it easier to work through the, the tutorial. And so uh, what probably happened is after version um, one, uh, it looks like this was migrated from the Langley for Subcatch, the, the previous Langley for Subcatchment network. Um, and then it was probably branched between one and three, and then it might have been branched again and moved around. And so um, there were some versions skipped, um, which is okay. What matters is the number, uh, or I'm sorry, the order. Um, so as long as obviously your, your version this is your current version, and these are just three past versions. Um, so these may as well be labeled one, two, three, and four. Um, so there's nothing really wrong here, is all I'm trying to say. Um, so once you view the history, we can go ahead and close this. And so now we're gonna right click the Langley for Subcatchments Network and select Open. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and close this window so we can see more of it. Um, so each time you edit a network and commit changes, a new version of the network is created in the database. Um, we are going to um, click the Object Properties button. And we can click on any object to open the Properties window. So I just clicked on the pump here. Um, so we're just going to make a small change to do a demonstration of um, how to commit the changes. So for the switch on level, we're going to change this to 8.9. And so when we do that, um, when we make a change, you'll notice that the little red exclamation mark will show up on the um, on the network icon and that just means that there are now changes that need to be or that haven't been committed yet. Um, so we made that little change. Um, we want to, you would normally before committing your changes you might want to validate the network um, but you don't have to uh, and so for the purposes of this tutorial exercise we're just going to um, commit the changes and so to do that we will right click on um, this network and go ahead and select commit changes to the master database. And I can add a comment if I want to. So I'm just going to say changed pump switch on level from 2.7 to 8.9. And then I just click OK. 
and um, I don't have to commit or I don't have to val. This is asking me if I want to validate and I don't have to. So I'm just going to say no. And so now those changes are committed. Um, so now if we right click and look at the commit history again, we can now see that new version. Um, and I see my username, the date and, and my comment and the number of changes that occurred, which was only one this time. And that is it for committing changes. Um, you can go ahead and close these windows and move on to the next exercise.